I certainly hope I don't get a copyright strike for this one because it is absolutely hilarious. I'm here not under the age of 30. 20 somethings? Let me hear from the 20 somethings. These are the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. Not personally, just as a group. Do me a favor, put some cash in your pocket, squeeze your debit cards every dollar seventeen purchase. I get so tired. What is it, like a 50 cent charge for every dollar seventeen? Or whatever you, <laughs> I mean, good grief. Stand by on Minimart, that's a dollar seventeen. Here's my debit card. <laughs> you don't have a buck and a quarter? I know they're dumber than people my age. You know, when I was growing up, we didn't have any childproof caps. You dropped a Coke bottle, it didn't bounce, it shattered. Our parents let us play with guns and knives and fireworks. You know what happened to the dumb kids? They didn't make it. <laughs> That's very true. We didn't wear seatbelts. We sat in the back of pickup trucks. We didn't wear helmets. Good grief, man. What a pansy generation. These guys grew up in a world that's childproofed and padded. All the dumb ones lived. <laughs> now they use debit cards at dollar seventeen purchases. You ever see what they're buying? Energy drinks. How much energy do you need in your 20s? Should be selling those at their retirement village. That's the target market right there. A couple of monsters in a Red Bull going to pick up that bingo game, I'm sure. <laughs> B-19, that's mine. <laughs> a lot of our terms don't mean anything. I don't want to sound like a broken record. You know what that means, right? People under 30 never own a record player. They don't know what that means. They don't know what that means. <laughs> to mention party lines back in those days and he'd have to tell the other asshole to get off the phone so you could complete yours <laughs> good grief yeah look up the old party lines so good <laughs> can't do that with a smartphone you'll kiss my be quick <laughs> you tear your pants pocket out doing that You could ring it. Look, I see some people nodding there, remember? You know what? Kiss mine. You guys know I did this? The phones used to be on the wall. On the wall and on the table. I'm not making that up. Connected to a cord. I'll tell you something else. People used to call us. We didn't know who it was. I'm not making that up either, am I? Here you go, 
whatever. <laughs> and do you know why you would run? Listen to this. Do you know why you would run to the phone? Listen to this. Because if you didn't get there, there were no answering machines. <laughs> Look at you looking at me like, no way. <laughs> And then you didn't know. You did not know. You'd stand like, who was that? And then, listen to this. You had to call all your friends. Listen to this. On numbers that you stored in your head. Imagine that. I'm not making that up either, am I? No. All the old people in here, they know the number of the house they grew up in. Am I right? Yeah. Now do you know your spouse's number? No. See the face of the clock. They don't know how to tell time. Think about the crummy fighter pilots they're going to make. Enemy aircraft, two o'clock. <laughs> That's in an hour. It is a pleasure to be here. I uh, know a lot of you looking at me right now and you're going, I think this guy did my taxes. <laughs> dry bar comedy. You know, at the mall, the old folks at the mall, you ever seen the old folks trying to get on the escalator? They're standing there trying to time that step coming out. And when do you lose that skill? Does that just happen overnight? I mean, do you just go to the mall one day and just go, whoa, that thing is moving right there. Here's a tip for all of you on the escalator. When you get to the top or the bottom, you don't know where you're going, step aside, then make a plan. They get off the top. Okay, which way are we going to go? It's 400 people being force fed up your backside. Move. I'm from Seattle. Marijuana is now legal. You can buy it in a cookie, so now I know how to shut up the neighbor's dog. There you go, Sparky. You better get out of the sun. comedy clubs, spent several days exploring Hong Kong, but there was something different about the city. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Finally figured it out. You know what it is? No Chinatown. <laughs> it's a stupid joke. I know that. I got here yesterday. We landed in Salt Lake City, took a Uber down here, and the guy had the radio on, and uh, one of your local hospitals is doing an ad for their emergency room. <laughs> you shop around for? An emergency room? I didn't got my finger off the table, so I'm in the emergency room. Let's try that new place in Spanish for it. Get the Sunday paper. There's a coupon in there. No, I would take the severed finger, put it in a bag of ice, wrapped in a paper towel, and then go to the nearest hospital. If your finger's half off, it's half off. Mattress something, not some mattress store running an ad right now telling you who can finance a mattress over 48 months. If it takes you four years to pay off a mattress, you can't afford a mattress. If it takes you four years to pay off a mattress, 
actress, nothing will help you sleep better. <laughs> you want to sleep better? Get a career where you can afford a mattress. <laughs> and how did the entire mattress industry decide from coast to coast, the only way we can move this product is get it? Or it's free! Tattooed meth head out on the sidewalk with a sign and spin that thing around a few times. <laughs> A mattress is not an impulse buy. You have never been driving home from work and went, I gotta get a mattress on. <laughs> you know what? Every time I see that guy on the sidewalk, you know, I'm thinking that's the owner's nephew. He told his sister, I'll give him a job, but he's not coming in the store. <laughs> It says under new management. Has that ever worked and brought in a customer? It's always on a mini mart or an old motel. That's where you see that thing. Hey, honey, you know that motel on the old highway where those people got shot and they were making meth? It's under new management. We should check it out. You know what that sign should say? Still a dump. <laughs> you know what sign I saw in my neighborhood? A handmade sign in a guy's front yard. It said garage cell. CLL, garage cell. What kind of hillbilly method? This spells the word sale. That word's everywhere. On sale, for sale, back to school sale, sale, S A I L. It's nice to work in front of smart people, it really is. There are places in this country they stare at me on that one. state legislature passed their roadkill bill, making it easier for the citizens of West Virginia to possess and eat their roadkill. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm leaving work. You want me to hit something? <laughs> what a great DUI defense that is. I pulled you over. Swole back there. You been drinking? I was hunting. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I have a website. It's bradupton.com. And I tell you, I don't feel the need to put the WWW in there. Do we need to hear that on websites? WWW? They're all WWW. What's that short for, by the way? Worldwide. Right. World Wide Web has three syllables. WWW has nine. <laughs> it's not short for anything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Some of you guys are looking at me like the Taliban watching baseball. Indian mascot because it's offensive to Indians. The NCAA is headquartered in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> Slightly ironic. Did you guys watch the Olympics last summer? Of course you did. America did great in the Olympics. We had a great Olympic Games. That was great. You know, though, when you're watching the Olympic Games, you see the eight fastest men in the world, the eight fastest women in the world. I think we forget how fast they are. You know what I think they ought to do to keep it in perspective? Pull somebody out of the stands and give them a shot at the goal. She has eluded your soldier. Section 32, row 6, seat 9. Come on down, you're going for the goal. Some fat guy with a selfie stick. <laughs> that is a 35 second 100 meters right there. <laughs> you know what else I'd like to see in the Olympics sometimes? Just some athlete snap and lose it. Just lose his cool like a diver. He's in sixth. It's his last jump. He knows he can't medal. He walks out there and goes, you know what? I trained half my life for this. I'm not going to get anything. Because <laughs> the next day, no one would know who won that competition. Everybody in the world would know that guy's name. <laughs> Being doing Same thing that happened at the Olympic platform with the ball chucking on a chain. Gwyn, whatever her last name is. Endorsements for the rest of his life. <laughs> Do you know from 1900 to 1920, tug of war was an Olympic sport? Tug of war. I wish they'd bring that back. <laughs> I'd like to see some big Russian steroid monsters against the, like the strongest guys from Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> Vlad, Sasha, check these guys. <laughs>
this guy, this luge legend, 38 years old, been in four Olympics, going to retire after the Olympics from luge. I thought, how do you retire from that sport? It's laying down. It's not like you're going to lose a step. It's laying down. Laying down is the only skill you get better at every year you're alive. And eventually you master it. skiing through the woods with a rifle. Pretty good. I'm coming out of the woods in first place under those circumstances. I'm low on ammo, but I'm in the lead. Did you guys follow me on that one? I, I shot everybody. You don't need to stop in this country. Any kind of restaurant going to like an Yeah, I'd like to see Obama, I mean, uh, oh, Biden, or, or yeah, uh, Biden and uh, Vladimir. I don't think I could sleep if I thought that was on. <laughs> a couple of 20-year-olds in the cage, they're going to fight again in a month. A couple of 80-year-olds in there, that's a death match. Maybe they were rock climbing, fishing, skydiving, they get killed. And people always say this. I know they mean well. They go, at least he died doing something he loved. Which to me is the cruelest irony of all time. Because if I told you I was going to teach you how to fish, you're going to love fish. You're going to fish almost every weekend for the next 30 years. But eventually, you're going to fall off a boat and drown. You go, well, you know what? I think I'm going to learn how to draw. You're going to be happy for somebody. Hope they die doing something they hated. Then they didn't have to finish. weekend at my in-laws house. Maybe I can ruin that weekend for them one time. You ever hear I died under those circumstances? I want you to be happy for me. Ah, that's great. He hated doing that. store to look for ugly plaid jacket and I found it and as I got to the cash register I discovered that Goodwill sells gift cards. Sure, we're 
my stranger in here with your name on it. <laughs> if you ever have a card and a goodwill gift card drops out of there, you might want to rethink the relationship. Look, honey, dinner for two at the food bank. By the way, I love the goodwill. The goodwill store by my house last June said 50% off Father's Day sale. Nothing says I love you, Pops. Quite like, hey, Dad, jump in the car. We don't want to pay full price for the used stuff. <laughs> if my kids ever take me to Goodwill on Father's Day, you know what I want for Father's Day? I want some new kids. I'm supposed to go to the Home Depot this weekend. I am not looking forward to that. I don't like going into the Home Depot. You know what? Why have 12 checkout stands if you're never going to open them all at once? You ever seen them all open at once? No. What set of circumstances has to occur? afternoon there's 40 of us in this line now they make you scan your own things in there you know what i do this is brilliant the machine gives you the option of spanish or english right there's always somebody watching the self-serve machines i just hit spanish and go hey could you do this for me <laughs> they come over every time they do it for you they look at you like an idiot it doesn't matter you know why you're not the one wearing the orange vest <laughs> Arizona. You ever been to Phoenix in August? Oh, oh yeah, it's nice. It's about 180 every day. Well, the locals always tell about the heat. It's dry heat. Dry heat, yeah. You know what? So's fire. <laughs> One time I walked by the bank. You know the sign that flashes back and forth between the time and the temperature? At 109 in the afternoon, the time and the temperature is exactly the same. <laughs> that sign's going 109. <laughs> 109. 109. Oh, better not be like that at 430. <laughs> but if you've never been there, it's so dry. You get chat lips, you get nosebleeds. They always talk about how many old people live in Phoenix. I don't think they're old. I think they're dried out. <laughs> they're in their 20s. They just need a glass of water. <laughs> they could get one if they had a debit card. recently a widower, if everything went as planned. He's a joke, folks. Relax. It's a comedy show. It's not true. My wife and I have been together 37 years. Thank you very much. together 37 years. We have a 22-year-old son, a 20-year-old daughter. They both drive, of course. You know what that means? As soon as they get in the car, they take over the radio station. I have to listen to the worst music I've ever heard in my life. You know what? I figured out to get a change of station. Sing along. <laughs> Honey got a booty like pow, pow, pow. Dad, stop it. Call me Mr. Flintstone because I can make you bad rock. Stop. Totally love Dry Bar Comedy. Yeah, this is from Utah. It's completely non-alcoholic crowd. Nobody drinks there. It's a great channel. I'll leave you the link in here so you can have some good laughs. I'll see the kids for a couple of days. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Harrison wrote them 
most beautiful Beatles songs of all time. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. That's a beautiful lyric. You know what he's trying to say? Honey got a booty like pow, pow, pow. up the crack of the seat. It's disgusting. <laughs> Full of broken cookies, raisins, M&M's, pretzels. I think that's how they invented trail mix. <laughs> I will guarantee you that's how that product originated. It wasn't a hiker that came up with trail mix. It was a parent somewhere. They're climbing the back seat of the minivan, scooped that up, and went, you know what, if you took that fuzz and that band-aid out of there... <laughs> Seven years. I have no idea what I would say to a female anymore. I really don't. You know what I do now? I bet I would walk up to a woman and go, hey, you know what? I vacuumed the whole house today. <laughs> Did a couple loads of wash, folded it, put it away. <laughs> me ladies are liking this, aren't you? Is that a whole pile of laundry? I'm going to iron every piece of that. Keep a box of that in my emergency kit, by the way. Where can that go? <laughs> makes you puke. <laughs> hey, don't swallow that. That's old. That's gone bad. That'll make you sick right there. <laughs> need to buy some new fresh syrup of Epic. <laughs> hey, kids, come here. We need to finish this up. Where are you guys? Come here. <laughs> Told you it was in Phoenix. Do they have in Phoenix? I'm not making this. 
this up. You know what they have in Phoenix? Tanning salons. <laughs> yes, they do. You know what? I've been to Alaska. I couldn't buy a snow cone. <laughs> Just goes to prove people buy things they don't need. I'm convinced of that. Have you seen those ads on TV for that Miraclear? If you can hear all the words but can't understand them, you need Miraclear. If I can hear all the words but can't understand them, I might be in Mexico. <laughs> major windstorms. All five of those major windstorms, every one of them been on a Thursday. You know how I know that? It's my garbage day. <laughs> Spent every one of those windstorms looking for my garbage can. Never found it either, but at least now I got a nicer one. <laughs> Anybody else do the windstorm upgrade? Like, oh man, this one's nicer mine. I'm grabbing this one. Everybody lost power five to eight days. It's cute when you lose the power, isn't it? For 20 minutes. For 20 minutes, it's kind of a novelty. You're like, I can't turn on that light. <laughs> it's fun for a few minutes. Day five, it's lost its charm. You're burning toys and furniture at that point. Let go of that. You don't play with that anymore. <laughs> but after that storm, in the Seattle region, 13 people died. 100 people were hospitalized for barbecuing in the house. held an emergency session specifically to pass the law. Now in the state of Washington, all barbecues have to have a sign on them telling you not to barbecue in the house. <laughs> Do we really need to be told not to barbecue in the house? Here's one for you. Don't put bacon in your pants and tease a pit bull either. <laughs> There's certain things in life we don't need to be told. And if you're thinking about barbecue in the house, I'm pretty sure you're not a reader. <laughs> You want some good comedy. I want you to come to Seattle. We get a half an inch of snow. You'll see the dumbest population you've ever seen in your life. People just parking their car on a bridge, walking home. That's it. I'm leaving it. I was in downtown Seattle. I saw on Fifth Avenue a front wheel drive Honda Civic tire chains on the rear wheels. I wish I was making that up. I just want to go over there, open up that door, reach in and go, you are so ignorant. I can't believe it. That barbecue in your back seat. You better not smell bacon. <laughs> Ladies, admit this too. You're walking around in the snow and ice with your husband or boyfriend holding her the arms. She won't slip. But basically, your attitude is, if I'm going down, this idiot's going with me right here. Yeah, I figured that one out right away. By the way, this video has been used under fair use. Cardboard. I'm thinking sooner or later they're gonna have to use me. <laughs> wow, apparently McDonald's fans in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been at my yard working my yard. I got these bald spots in the front yard. I don't know what caused it. They seem to be getting bigger. I've tried everything to make grass grow. Nothing works. I'm gonna do right next to the crickets. Bald spot? I'm gonna grow the grass really long. <laughs> Down 
his neck. But the article went on to say they had not yet ruled out suicide. <coughs> I mentioned there was no head. I mentioned that, right? How do you chop off your own head? That's what I'm going Oh, gee, this hurts. get what I'm saying. First time I flew to Alaska, like 25 years ago, I flew from Seattle to Anchorage. I had this bonehead sitting next to me. He's talking to me. He goes, you ever been to Hawaii? I've been there a couple of times. because I've never been to Hawaii. In fact, we land in Anchorage. I'll be the closest I've ever been to Hawaii. <laughs> what makes you think we can fly three and a half hours north of Seattle to be closer to Hawaii? We're looking at a map. But I think the problem is every map in the United States you've ever seen, it's the lower 48 right in the corner, Hawaii and Alaska. <laughs> really bad, and I know you don't care, and basically I did was aggravate an old high school fishing injury. <laughs> Seeing if you're listening. But I was getting over that, I was thinking about that, tearing muscles is unique to humans, isn't it? you never seen your cat jump out of a dead sleep, run down the hall, Thank <laughs> you. 